My name is Ron Peck. Approximately nine years ago, working out a gymnasium, I met an individual by the name of Willie Cahill. And I hadn't seen Willie for some length of time because he is a regular in working out as well as myself. And when he did come back, I said, Willie, where you been? He said, I was in Las Vegas. I said, you win? He said, I don't gamble. I said, oh, how were the shows? He said, I didn't go to a show. I said, Willie, I know what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but what were you doing in Vegas? Well, he proceeded to tell me about his judo team, and they were there for tournaments and give me some background on the athletes, the competition, the medals won. And at the end, had a very impactful statement. He said, oh, by the way, they're all blind or visually impaired. Well, I actually got a little emotional on that because I, I did judo in college and I didn't do well in, in the sport, but I am also sighted. And he started to tell me more about the athletes and then he mentioned a, a real key word here. He said, the Paralympics. Many of these athletes are on the U.S. Paralympic judo team. And I didn't, like most Americans say, Paralympics, you mean Special Olympics? Because there's a big disparity between the two. Unfortunately, most Americans are not aware of the Paralympics, which is competition at the same level as Olympics, but these individuals have physical disabilities. In our case, for the Blind Judo Foundation or for Blind Judo athletes, they're all blind or visually impaired. So it's all physical disabilities. Whereas in Special Olympics, there's other considerations other than physical disabilities. Well, at the same time, I was taking a course through Landmark Education called Self-Expression Leadership Program, or SELP. It takes approximately three years to get through the program to, to complete this particular course. And one of the things one has to do to graduate is create something and give it away. And creating something can't be if you're in sales, get more sales, if you're in management, better margins and things of that sort. It's gotta be basically a clean piece of paper and create something and then literally give it away. Well, in talking to Coach Cahill, I found out that the uh, Paralympian athletes don't get the same media coverage, financial support, recognition as regular Olympians, yet they meet all the same requirements to compete at that level. And I thought, well, that, that can't be right. So I started doing my own research and like Reagan said, President Reagan said, trust but verify. And going through that process of research and checking out the disparity between the two, I said, gee, maybe we could create a foundation that is tailored for blind judo. But I thought, well, there's gotta be something like that already out in the marketplace. When in fact, there wasn't. There are organizations that deal with blind individuals children, young adults, and others, but no one specific organization that is just blind judo. Well, that was the genesis or the, the spark, if you will, to create the Blind Judo Foundation. And once I created it and uh, got it recognized by the, the, the program, the Self-Expression Leadership Program, was accepted and was able to graduate from that. But now I had to give it away. Well, who better to give it away to than the past U.S. Olympic judo coach, at the time the current U.S. Paralympic judo coach by the name of Willie Cahill. Actually, it's Professor Cahill, but he uh, lovingly likes to go by coach. And Coach Cahill then became the CEO and co-founder of the foundation, and I am the CFO and co-founder of the foundation. And the benefit to be gained by these athletes being introduced, whether they go to the uh, Paralympic or Olympic level or not, is important, but really it's not about what color is one's belt, what trophies have they won, what medals have they won. These are important and landmarks or, or gatekeeping things along the way, but it's really about learning the tenets of Judo. And the tenets of Judo are how to build confidence, how to build character, how to make commitments and follow through. How do you learn humility, respect, and responsibility? Those are the benefits of judo. And who more could use these than all of us, and especially blind and visually impaired individuals? Well, not only do we work with young adults, 
uh, children, but we've also reached out to our returning military personnel that have become blind or visually impaired and getting them involved with the sport of judo. Why? It builds confidence and enhances independence. And so there's much more to be learned about the foundation. If you would mind, go to blindjudofoundation.org and you can learn more about our board members, which are outstanding individuals from around the world, as well as the foundation and ways that you might consider supporting our efforts, our vision and our mission here of changing lives and creating champions through the sport of judo. Thank you.